and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Abzan Trollbringer. That's right, we are finally playing a Hushbringer Clackbridge troll deck, putting them together. Because I know that a lot of y'all have been wanting me to put these two cards together. Of course, I've been playing a ton of Clackbridge Troll in the Abzan Troll Knights deck. Hawkeye, you coming up here? Hey, Hawkeye's gonna join us. And so we've been playing we've been playing a lot of Clackbridge Troll in that deck. And a lot of people just ask, why don't we play Hushbringer in there? But Hushbringer just doesn't fit that deck with playing the Acclaimed Contenders and Midnight Reapers and everything else that we have in there. Um, but so many people want to see Hushbringer with Troll. So what we're doing here is we're putting those together with, um, with the Adventure cards. Because the Adventure creatures um, don't, you know, like they're not creatures that care about Enter the Battlefield or Dying Triggers, really. Because they're it's the cast trigger for Edgewall Innkeeper. Because the thing is, like with playing Hushbringer and Clackbridge Troll, we want we want to be playing other creatures because we want to be putting pressure on our opponent because we want the 8-8 Trample body to matter where they have to just start sacrificing their the creatures. Um, <clears throat> of course, we can pair those with Rankle, with Questing Beast. Uh, these are two really good haste threats also that also uh, pair well with the Clackbridge Troll. Uh, now, I didn't want to play... Uh, didn't want to play the Great Henge for card advantage because the Great Henge does trigger with ET when it enters, so that doesn't work with Hushbringer. So that's where we got Edgewall Innkeeper for our card advantage engine. <clears throat> and then also another card that's a cast trigger is Oketra. You know, Oketra is, is a cast trigger, so whenever we cast these really cheap creatures, you know, we have six mana, we can play Oketra, then play a one drop. And immediately make a four four also, so we can we can trigger Oketra pretty early with this deck, um, which is why I wanted to go towards Oketra. Now there's a one little awkward thing with the deck with Oketra does have the die trigger, and that does would not trigger with Hushbringer. So that's the one little awkward thing, but I I love how we can trigger Oketra very easily with all these one drops. Um, also going to go with some Knight of Autumns in the sideboard because of how good that card is, but Knight of Autumn plus Hushbringer, eh, you know, that's also a little bit of a, uh, non-bow there, but that's just how it's going to be. I'm going to try one Find Finality instead of the Second Order of Midnight. Because I think some sometimes we may want to cast Finality, especially with Clackbridge Troll, where we sweep up all, all of their, uh, little one ones and we've seen a lot more just other aggro decks just kind of in general recently so i think finality could be nice and then of course we have the find part that can get back two creatures you know we can have like questing beast and troll clackbridge troll in play and we do finality and put the two counters on the questing beast to keep it alive or the rankle to keep it alive and then attack in uh we'll see we'll see i'm just kind of doing that over there and then uh paradise druid was the other card that i really wanted to fit in here but just didn't really fit in here but anyway, this is our deck, Abzan Trollbringer. Let's give it a try. Our sideboard, of course, has all the interaction for all the different stuff in the format. Where our main deck is just trying to, to beat down. We got a stompy deck here. So we're going to be playing over in ranked, traditional standard ranked. We'll play five matches over here. I thought about playing like two Paradise Druids or, or so, you know, like just a couple instead of, like, the fourth Hushbringer and, and stuff, but... Oh, well. We just don't have it. Yep. Yeah, early start and stream tomorrow, with it being Sunday. Love our Sunday matinee stream tomorrow. This is a little bit awkward here with our mana. Okay, not as awkward. So now I have I have the ability to go turn two Hushbringer or just get another one one into play. Gonna shut off Frilled Mystic. I hope they're just chilling on a bunch of Frilled Mystics. Maybe all four Frilled Mystic. 
I guess they still get to block. Still get to play it as just a blocker. Oh, that's even better. Even better. Even better, it's the Risen Reef ramp deck. You don't like the Hushbringer arc because it feels like Photoshop lips? Yeah, I, I can see that. 4-4 four, four, Krasis. Alright, we already got two of everything. Let's grab another green. So 4-4 four, four, Krasis shuts down Questing Beast. Hey, future me on YouTube. <laughs> Thank you so much there, Play GWI. Thank you very much. Yeah, Ethereal Absolution would be good for the Clackbridge Troll and everything in this deck too, absolutely. And Jay Gomez getting the resub in there. Thanks, Jay Gomez. Sub number 12 on the day. We've hit one sub goal today towards the next 12 hour stream. I kind of like saving the Falmire Knight till after Oketra's in play. And we may we may also want to do the whole draw a card, lose a life bit as well. I hope they have Agent of Treachery. Ugh, 5-5 five, five Krasis? Hmm. I need to try to race. Difficult to race. That second crisis certainly hurts. We need to draw removal. Rise, my elemental friend. Darn. The two crisis got us. Should have played the questing beast the turn before. Eh, maybe not. I don't know. I have a giant killer. Yeah, my out is drawing giant killer.
First match and best of the earth is always flyers. You get a victory. Easy. Nice. Our, our Hushbringer wasn't good enough. All right, let's get another giant killer in here. We could play Legion's End. It's awesome against Krasis, but it's kind of only good against Krasis. It's not really doing anything else. Disbark's very good against Nyssa. Yeah, I mean, I guess Legion's End works on the lands, too. Foulmire Knight is our least effective card. I'm just I'm not sure if I want fine finality or not. I'm not sure. All right, yeah, we'll play it over another Foulmire Knight. Yeah, I'm not sure what removal they're going to have for Hushbringer. They have to get rid of Hushbringer. Certainly. All right, we're going to keep it because we got Hushbringer. Let's find white mana. We have the temple that can scry. A temple Garden or a Goblet Shrine. There we go. I guess if they have counter magic now, they could counter the Hushbringer. They have like Quench. There's the troll. We got the second part of our combo. We just got to draw lands now. Land for beast, and then beast into troll for the next two turns. East. I should bring her putting in work. Come on, troll. Maybe it's better just to kill the Nyssa. Maybe better just to kill the Nyssa and Legions and the Forest. All right, well we don't we don't have the land. Um,
aggression. That would be really nice if Nissa only ticked up to 5 instead of ticking up uh, to 6, where I could have had the Hushbringer attack Nissa and force them to chump. So keep in Legion's end for a crisis. Uh, it wouldn't, this would not exile other forests on the battlefield, but if they had more forests in hand, it would exile those other forests in hand. The land shall conquer you. So I could have put them down to two. And and keep Nissa alive. I think it's worth it just getting rid of Nissa though. And then be at six. Yes, Nerkro, Nissa yeah. Oh I guess oh why did the Hushbringer could have just attacked here though, because that's seven. Never mind. I should have I could at least had them at five. Yeah, Hush Hushbringer should have gone face. Um but yeah, anyway, yeah, Hawkeye's doing really good now. He's you know, he got his teeth pulled and the ones that were they were really bothering him, but now he's doing good. Good job, Hushbringer. I'm gonna cut the other other Foulmire Knight and play this last fine finality. So maybe play Wrong Club Shine instead of Elcatra. Get some sweepers in here on the draw. Yeah, good thing we killed Nyssa, because, yeah, they would have been able to finale for 10, and I would have been dead. But yeah, I could have dealt one extra damage to them the previous turn by not having Hushbringer attack Nyssa. Yeah, Hushbringer stops the goats from Quackbridge Troll. So we have just a regular 8-8 Trample Haste with that ability. And you know, to, you know, pairing it with Questing Beast and Rankle and our other aggressive cards. Ugh. I hate mulliganing a hand with Hushbringer, but we don't have lands. Okay, Storm, see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Good job, Mug Mugton. Yeah, I, I think Esper is probably the most popular deck in um, in Historic. So yeah, not surprised you're playing against tons of Esper. Whoa, almost a thousand viewers in here? Whoa, what's up everybody? 
if y'all are kind of newer to the channel, this is what I do every day from 3 to 10 Eastern. It's currently 8 o'clock Eastern, or, you know, almost a couple minutes away from 8 o'clock Eastern, if you're in a different time zone. And I also post all of the replays up on the YouTube channel. So you, if you're enjoying the stream and you want to see any of the awesome decks that we've been playing, you can give a follow to the YouTube channel there. So let's let's just keep Murderous Rider and so Swift End and Chop Down. They're both eight letters, two words. Swift End, Chop Down. Keep those two spells available. They play Love Struck Beast, we Swift End. Or no, we Chop Down. They play Nissa, we Swift End. Cavalier of Thorn, we're going to chop down. Oh! I need to... Okay, never mind. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. I was thinking I need to let the Risenry trigger happen first, but no, we're good. I was definitely going to do this and then hold up Swift End, but now we drew the Questing Beast. No, we're still just going to do this. If they have another Cavalier of Thorn, we need to kill the Cavalier of Thorn before the trigger. Swift down and chop end. Just have one card left. Hopefully it's not that good of a card. Yeah, hopefully they're just lands and yeah, definitely not crisis. Agent of Treachery. They probably boarded out Agent of Treachery because of the Hushbringers. They needed eight mana for Endray's Forerunners, but may maybe they boarded out those cards because of the Hushbringers. possible.
Wrangle doesn't get through Cavalier of Thorn. I don't really have a good plan for this Cavalier of Thorn right now besides just tap continually tapping it down with the Giant Killer. I need more mana to be able to continually tap it down. So I'm basically just letting them attack in here and I'm going to just be blocking with the Murderous Rider. Second Cavalier of Thorn. Because I think if I kill Cavalier of Thorn, they get back Risen Reed. Or they get back a Hydro Crisis, sorry. They get back Hydro Crisis. But now I have Murderous Rider for Hydro Crisis, but that's still just drawing a whole lot of cards. <clears throat> ideally, we find Hushbringer first, because Hushbringer turns off the die trigger. So, like, ideally, we draw a Hushbringer. First. Oh yeah, there's Finale in there they can go grab. That's right, this Finale doesn't exile. Frisky biscuits. Getting that four ninety nine. Uh, thanks for all the bits. Where's my cheers emote? The cheers. Where's my cheers emote? It's gone. Oh well, there's a the foil cheers. Cool. The spark works. I wish I was doing more than just a spark, though. Let's just play this troll. I mean, I would just be doing the giant killer. Play the troll. Let's see if they have me gain three life and draw cards. If so, maybe we hit a land drop. No. Nope. Just testing. Just testing. We got twice as many lands as we do. <clears throat> and then, of course, some mana creatures also. Oh, yeah, they could just sacrifice the Cavalier. They could have just done that, couldn't they? But obviously, Finale Devastation just wins the game. They had another one. Yeah, I guess so playing the troll was not correct. Yeah, so troll playing the troll is definitely a mistake. I did Yeah, that was definitely a mistake. But it doesn't really matter. They're just sitting on their other finale. Well, that match was a lot better whenever we had the Hushbringers. Is that game one? We had to win that game one. That was un unfortunate to lose that to the the Krasises. <clears throat> but the game one, how we had Hushbringer, we had to win that. I don't hate it for how we've been just getting stuck on lands. I don't hate it. 
Yeah, like the temple to look for more spells. I don't hate it. I guess we'll mulligan though. Well, I guess we got a plan. Definitely feels really weird putting back Edgewall Innkeeper, but I don't think we want to just be on just three lands. I'm not going to be, I'm not, like, the thing about Bone Crusher Giant that I'm going to miss the least in Standard is that sound effect whenever you do the, the two mana, like, that, that sharp sound effect. I am not going to miss that being gone. I want to play the beast, but I also want to have a 1-1 one -one so I can attack with it. So this is awkward. I need a murderous rider. There are five drops. This didn't work out whatsoever. Wish I would have just shocked and held up Murderous Rider and then Murderous Rider the Sphinx of Foresight and uh, this didn't work out whatsoever. That's basically like the whole worst case scenario of like trying to decide which what to do. Or should I just play this as a five five? Like this, it's worked terribly for me. I would not expect to be winning this game from here. That turn three play ended up being ended up being a a very uh, ended up putting us in a in a big hole. So I'm going to say here. I mean, their creatures have trample. Doesn't really make sense to to block. I mean, technically, if they have nothing in hand, we can <clears throat> do okay. No, I am not making this up as I go. So, Giant Killer, Dispark, Dispark. 
and Knight of Autumns. I don't know, fine finality may be just fine. I'm not really seeing cards I don't like. I mean, I guess Clack Clackbridge Troll may be our worst card here. Not going to be any good whenever we're behind. My opponent can turn the goats into bigger creatures whenever with their red cavalier. That honestly may just be our worst card. I think I do like Hushbringer because of what it does against the red cavalier. And the Blue Cavalier, both of them. But of course, it's very weak to Bone Crusher Giant. And very weak to Clarion. Our deck's kind of weak to Clarion in general. Now, I don't really, I don't know about Realm Cloak Giant because it doesn't kill like you know like they have like their Bone Crusher Giants it doesn't kill them. and they have so many creatures with haste anyway. Yeah, it's kind of seemed like we've missed. That's gonna seem like we like we have missed having. Um, what's it called? Paradise Druid. We've been kind of fighting our mana. Yeah, you always can, Plumber. Go ahead. Yeah, I understand Hushbringer stops Night of Autumn. I understand. So they just scryed three to the top. This is probably not going to go good for me. They had too perfect of a hand. They had they had double scry three, and they just kept them kept all of them on top because it's just too perfect. It's probably not going to go good for me. Why would they block there? That's why.
Uh, the, the music is, yeah, it's my, um, it's a Spotify playlist. Yeah, so I've, I have a Spotify playlist that has music. Um, and I have, I have two different audio recordings. I have one, you know, basically I have the, the music being pumped to the stream, but I don't have it being recorded for the YouTube recording. I don't understand why they kept all their cards. Hand was definitely good. Just keep on scrying at the top. play the Hushbringer instead of tap the Sphinx of Foresight to shut down Cavaliers because I am worried about Cavaliers from here. No, it's not too difficult to do. Ugh. That's not a Cavalier. That's a Kenrith. Just like the best card to have. Just as the single best card to have. I have everything. Very good trade for me, trading Questing Beast for Sphinx of Foresight. I would not, if I were them, I would have been attacking with the Sphinx of Foresight and not trading there. Because they get the Scries every turn. That Scry is really valuable, and, and the Questing Beast doesn't matter when they get to gain all this life like they showed with, with Kenrith. That Questing Beast isn't important. Unfortunately, they just have everything, so it doesn't, it doesn't matter, but... Fortunately, they have everything. That was an amazing hand. GG's. Bone Crusher Giant. What an incredible card. But then, yeah, the Solar Blaze, the Clarion. Both of those sweepers. Yeah, plumber. Um, just uh, use voice meter banana. You can look up. That's what I did. Was just use a YouTube video. Let's keep this game life land in here.
Not sure exactly what our opponent's doing over here with the black white lands. We'll, we'll see. I I think I'm going to be casting profane insight with this Foulmire Knight. So I let myself in. That hurts. Look to see me no more. Yay, land. Perfect. So that kills the Kaya, and then they have to sacrifice the Doom for Tolden. Hushbringers were actually going to be doing something. They're going to be stopping these burglar rats. Keeper, go. Questing Beast, always good. Most likely Kaya's Wrath here. Well, even better for them. Realm Cloak Giant, because that's a 7-7. Seven, seven. Maybe we draw a chop down or a wrinkle. They have like more card draw than they have over here with the castle. Good thing I didn't just play the Gotha Shrine first. 
Oh no! Kill the wrinkle. Kill the wrinkle. Kill the wrinkle. Wow, they killed the wrinkle! They killed the wrinkle! They didn't just kill me. I almost conceded. Hey, goat! Thanks for the sub there. All right, come on, drop removal spell. What a no, whiner. a forest. Uh, all we needed was a removal spell. Goat said, first season playing best of three, climbing up diamond right now with the red, black, the claim of firstborn deck. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah, like I, yeah, I like that deck. Glad you're enjoying it. All right, so we need Midnight Reaper. Maybe some Night of Autumns. I don't know. Do I want Night of Autumn to blow, like, you know, basically try to blow up Doom Foretold? I think we're going to take out Hushbringer, even though Hushbringer stops that two mana one one. Or I could take out Giant Killer. I could take out Giant Killer. Maybe trim these. I'll play, we'll play, yeah, we'll play one night over a troll. Aw, thank you, Plumber. That's really kind. Thanks for the donation. Let's get some hype in for Plumber, saying your stream helps me a lot with mine. Thanks for your help always. You're, you're welcome. Edgewall Innkeeper. Living on the edge. On a wall, on an edge. I just really hope they don't have Legion's End. If we just had one innkeeper, I wouldn't be playing it. Happy here, I can help, Plumber. to be here. Your problems. I hope you said I'll be back. You beat me this time. Bravo. Yay, magic. That's an awesome curve, though. I really like that. Fen Lurker into Othakaya into Disfigure Kaya. That's pretty awesome. I like good black white decks. Yeah, where's that forest now? Where's that forest now? 
Our deck hasn't seemed very good. I feel like we're putting Hushbring like Hushbringer and Clackbridge Troll have not seemed very good. Seems like just playing other cards would make our deck a lot better. We're playing a couple Planeswalkers, Great Henges, things like that. Paradise Druids. There's 25 land in the deck. I don't know, like the the game before we had just lots of lands. That game we didn't. I don't know. Yeah, we're not we're not doing a very good job of having a good mixture of lands and spells, you know, curving out. We're just we haven't really curved out any any game at all. Maybe they don't have instants. At least they don't know how to cast shock. Add mana, Steamkin. Do it. Cast the other Steamkin. Boo. Time to sit back, see what they do. They're going to take their time, whatever they're going to do. Just fine. They can. I don't block, you know, they just do that four damage to me. I think they spent more mana than I did. I think they spent more mana than I did. I'm taking out the Hushbringers and Clackbridge Trolls. Lost faith. Uh, no, we've, we've never won with it before. Maybe we'll start.
Is this? Can we trying to play this realm cloak giant on five? Even though we don't have green mana, I'm still keeping the swamp. Flame sweep, shock, slang fire. I draw Murderous Rider for the Chandra, of course. Sit back and watch it burn. Okay, well, this deck didn't work. I think it had good... I liked, like, the intentions of, like, how I built this deck and everything, but... We really missed not having Paradise Druid. Our, we were just stumbling all the time, never curved out. Um, yeah, basically... The... Playing the... Playing white... Just didn't really make our deck better than just playing like regular Golgari adventure stuff. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what else. All right. So like, there's probably a different way to try to play Hushbringer Clackbridge Troll, but it, it didn't seem very very good. Like every time we had Clackbridge Troll, we didn't have Hushbringer, and our Hushbringers like this card just dies so easily. Like how weak it is to Bone Crusher Giant. Ugh, that was a problem. So I don't know. I don't. I don't know exactly what to do with Hushbringer Clackbridge Troll. I know y'all really wanted a Hush Hushbringer Clackbridge Troll deck, and and I like in in theory what we got going on here, but we just didn't. We couldn't cast our spells, and that's that's definitely a problem. We just had so many games where we couldn't cast our spells. Um. And then a, you know a couple of games that we did, then we didn't have enough gas. So. Oh well. All right, so uh, there you go. That's Abzan, Trollbringer. They're not all, you know, whenever you play the new decks, they're not always going to work. They don't all work, and this is one that didn't. Um, but that's okay. It's always good to, to try because you never know unless you try. Uh, so if you're watching on YouTube, hope, hope you still enjoyed the deck and hit that like button over there. And feel free to leave comments. What do you, what do you think about, you know, Hushbringer, Clackbridge, Troll? How should we play those? two together um you know feel free to to write some suggestions there and everything if you're playing a hushbringer clackbridge troll deck just roll to paste it over there on the youtube comments um but that's it here for abzan trollbringer so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video